grabbing out of here? I don't know. I can't decide what I want to eat for uh -huh. lunch. What do you think? Sandwiches or sandwiches? Well, it's November 8th. We got back to Illinois last night. Um, actually did not hunt this morning. We had an east-southeast wind, which is pretty brutal for accessing this farm, at least how we want to access it at the moment. Um, so we decided to sleep in, get some work done this morning. Uh, it's going on about 10.30 right now. We're probably gonna be grabbing lunch here pretty quick and then head out. We got a new spot. We want to hang a stand um, for the afternoon. I'm going to see what the wind's doing up there when we hang it. It's supposed to be a southeast, but I just stepped outside and shot bow here a little bit ago and it was blowing northeast, which is not good for that spot. So either way, we're going to hang that stand. Um, if the wind does switch, we're going to sit it. If not, it's going to be a good wind for it here the next couple of days. We are back in Illinois. We're on the same farm that JP killed on back on Halloween. We let the farm soak for the week and went over to Nebraska and hunted over there. We uh, had to hang a scent in this tree, which took us a while just because we were waiting for wind gusts to cut each and every limb so we weren't making noise. So we brought the decoy. We're set up right over a pond. And uh, this is actually the same pond dam JP's buck came out of this CRP to the rattle too. So we know the deer like this area. All the corn to the north of us is now harvested, so we should see some deer tonight. Stop action this morning so far. We had uh, 
big maturity pointer. We didn't really have a name for him, but we're gonna call him Loctite because he's Loctite on a doe right now. Um, he's a buck we've got on camera, but honestly, I think we've only got like maybe four or five pictures of him in the last two months. And uh, we caught him about 120 yards to our west working down through the ditch. We couldn't see the doe he was on for a while. We just thought he was by himself, so we called at him. Shortly after that, we had squigs come right through the bottom here, probably 50, 60 yards. And uh, he seen the decoy and kind of shied away and actually worked up towards Loctite, and Loctite ran him off. We've seen two out of the top three bucks on the farm. The only one we haven't laid eyes on this morning is High Rise. We'll see how the rest of the morning plays out. It's been a, a good one so far. Just got back to camp. Um, pretty eventful day. Action-packed morning and action-packed last hour. Right before dark, we had that busted up 10 come up out of the bottom and then a new eight pointer that we don't have any pictures of. He actually was out in the cut corn behind us and, and then I snort wheezed at him to get a better look at him and he came right down the pond dam right to the decoy. Um, just not quite what we're looking for. Uh, we've seen Loctite again right before dark. Similar conditions tomorrow. We're gonna climb back in the same tree in the morning and then uh, see how it goes and, and possibly come up with a, a different play for tomorrow night. We are back in the same tree for the third day in a row been getting uh, south winds for the last three days and this is by far the safest spot we've got to sit where we still have a high opportunity rate I feel like um, we're gonna get north winds starting tomorrow it sounds like so we'll be able to get into a few other spots but we're back in the same tree again here today we should see some deer this morning we've already seen small buck and a fawn but uh, these deer are on their feet and it should be uh, should be good for at least the first hour or two here before it gets hot well it's going on about nine o'clock we haven't seen a deer probably hour and a half now I would say it's starting to warm up winds starting to pick up so we're gonna slip down out of this tree head back it's been a 
slow night. If we got a big front coming in tonight, I would sure think that these deer are gonna move yeah. good tomorrow. Give me all your attention. One time for the misfits. Through the doors open on the highway, I promise you don't want miss this. They say the good die young, but this is gonna be a long one. I'm the death off, the high road for the trust fall, and I'm, I, I'm feeling the limit. flying by um, it's been kind of slow for what we were expecting we did see Loctite this morning about eight o'clock had him on the hillside right across from us about 100 yards away he was locked on a doe I'm assuming it's the same doe that we've seen him with a couple days ago but it's hard to tell I feel pretty good about our chances of seeing him here again this afternoon it's just whether or not the doe comes out of the food plot Saturday morning, November 12th today. We are back in the Taj Mahal. It is uh, a gun tower that the landowners had on this property for several years. JP and I sat near from light to dark yesterday. We've still got northwest winds. That's the second day of the cold front. This property is kind of tricky to hunt on a northwest wind in, in the timber. This is kind of the, I would say, the heart of the property. We've got a lot of intel of our top two bucks, Loctite and High Rise, uh, right around this area. Um, High Rise was actually in this fruit plot about 20, 30 minutes after we left last night. Conditions are good. The time of the year is the best it gets. So we packed our lunch. We're staying all day again. It's been a well, it was an extremely slow day until about 3 o'clock this afternoon. Ended up seeing three different does, three different fawns. We're going to stay after it. We've got until I think next Friday will probably be our, we'll call it after that because their gun season starts next weekend. But we still got plenty of time to get it done here in Illinois. It's November 13th. JP and I have spent the last two days sitting in the Taj Mahal in an enclosed tower stand. And we are finally back in a tree. It's been real windy the last couple days, but it's supposed to be relatively calm today. It's supposed to be sunny, but it's cloudy right now. Um, forecast called for full sun all day. Cold, high pressure. We're in a stand we call Southpaw. This is a spot that Brandon hunted a lot last year, but he hunted in a tree like 30 yards over my left shoulder. And he said a lot of the action came down right past this tree, just out of bow range for him through the, through the timber. But we moved the stand here this summer. And the first time climbing into it this morning, I'd like to say everything went but I'd be lying. Yesterday was a really slow day, so I'm, I'm thinking today's gotta be, gotta be fire. We'll see. Mm -hmm. 
up heading out for the afternoon. We're in a spot we call the northeast corner. We've only hunted this tree one other time um, when JP was up. There are still a lot of a lot of leaves on the trees at that time. This tree is now pretty bare so we, uh, we're kind of sticking out pretty good I think. Um, we are fairly high up, so I think we'll be all right. about 10 o'clock. 
It's been a decent morning, um, slower than we were hoping for. I think we've seen four different bucks. I think we're gonna get down out of the tree. And uh, switch positions for the afternoon. It's a good, good sit this morning. Um, our first time in this spot and uh, it looks really good. I thought we'd have more bucks cruising down through here, but we just didn't have it this morning. I think we counted eight does and fawns, four different bucks so far. Almost all of them out in this uh, cut cornfield. No mature buck sightings tonight. Kind of surprised with all the does we've seen then. There wasn't a good buck out. Holy. <laughs> what do you got cooking on this fine Tuesday? Just writing some blogs. It's kind of a dreary day out there. They called for two inches of snow, two to four inches of snow last night. We didn't get any snow, it looks like just rain. And it's overcast and just, to be honest, I haven't stepped outside yet, so I don't know what it's like, but it, it looks like a good day to be on the couch. So we're gonna give her hell tonight though. We just got back in a stand that we call the Northeast Corner in this big cut cornfield. We pretty much got tonight and tomorrow morning to hunt. Then we're gonna have to head out of here and get some stuff done before the weekend. All right, let's see who wants to dance. Just about out of light here. Seen a decent number of deer tonight. No, uh, no shooters. Uh, it's been probably five days now, at least, since we've seen a good buck. We're gonna back out of here and come up with a game plan for tomorrow. We'll probably, probably end up diving into the Heart of the property and swing for the fences. It's November 16th. It's about 6.45 right now in the morning. It's our last morning here in Illinois until after the gun seasons. Good news is Loctite showed up last night. We got pictures of him at like 10.30 last night back in the area. We got into this stand deep in the timber. I think pretty clean. About 15 minutes ago, we got a picture of Loctite. 250, 300 yards east of us, headed this direction. We had a really good chance of seeing him this morning. There's a big buck up on the hill, JP, coming down off Buck Ridge. See him? I don't know what he was, but he looked pretty good. right in front of me. It's, it's squigs.
did that just happen? Holy cow. It is uh, 7.22 right now. We had a young buck come down right on the other side of the creek. Short while later, there was some chasing going on. We couldn't tell. We could just tell there was a buck bumping a doe. We couldn't get a good look. Then it, the doe actually snuck down here by the creek and he lost her. And she stood down in the creek, actually came out right in front of us. All of a sudden, squigs. He must have looped all the way around. And I heard walking, the doe was over here. I heard walking, I looked to my left and he's coming out right here at like 30 yards. And I told JP, get on him, I'm shooting this deer. And I thought initially, I thought my shot was a touchback. It looked like long liver. And he ran across the creek and he kind of hunched up. And then he went up the hill and we watched him crash. He's laying dead probably 90 yards from us. See his frame sticking up. See it? It's the right of that tree. Here he is, my 2022 Illinois buck. My first Illinois buck ever. This is my first season ever hunting in Illinois. JP and I came down, got on a lease through our good buddy, uh, Scott Hosel from Bucket Ready Seed. JP was fortunate enough to shoot a good buck off of here uh, back on Halloween. After JP killed, we decided to, to let it rest for a week and, and went and hunted Nebraska. Uh, first couple days were action packed, seen a lot of good bucks, including this guy. And we actually had an encounter with him, I think it was on our first full day sit. Had him come past us two different times, once at about 60 yards and another at 40, and I probably could have taken a shot, but uh, I just, it was windy and I just didn't feel comfortable shooting that far. Um, so we elected to, to let him walk by us that day and after that we had a few other encounters with some good deer and just nothing that really quite got me going and, and we had a picture perfect rut hunt this morning. JP killed it with the camera and uh, I couldn't be more proud to wrap my tag on this deer. Hell of a hunt here in Illinois.